Hello and welcome back to Open Avals for the Burgundian Conquest. So we're doing pretty well. We've got France kind of peeled off here. And we're kind of separating them from, like, we're separating this bit of France from the rest of France. We're going to slowly eat France, give it to England, give it to Castile, give it to Aragon. Doesn't matter, France is no longer our problem. Now, when does our truce end with France? Truce is, uh, 1497, so 11 years. So in 11 years, we can maybe go back to war with France. Uh, I kind of forgot where our ally situation is. The reason why this video is going to seem a little bit more rushed is I'm actually not going to be a new uh, computer for the next couple of days, so I want to put out something to say that. But I thought I'd also want to put out an episode, so I've not had the usual time to prepare. Let's just see what we got. So we're leading unions with three people, we've got royal marriages with three people, and alliances. So maybe what we want to do now is try and figure out a way into the HRE. That would probably mean backstabbing Austria. Uh, is there another emperor on its way? we got Bohemia, Brandenburg, uh, Bohemia, Bavaria, Brav oh, so it looks like Bohemia's got it for the next one. Um, how old is Ferdinand? He's 37, how long is, how old is the Bohemian guy? He is 58, so he's going to die first. But let's say that Bohemia comes in charge. Who are Bohemia's allies? We've got Anhol Austria. You're allied with Austria? Now that's just annoying. That means that we're going to have a slight bit of problems in that we're going to have to... Uh, hmm, maybe get Austria in another war? I don't know how we're going to really deal with that, but we'll think about it. Another thing that we need to do is we need to get rid of Brittany. I don't think that Brittany is a good ally for us anymore. In fact, I think that they are maybe a hindrance to us because they're going to stop us uh, from expanding over to the west here. So what I think that we want to do is find a way to get to war with them. Maybe through England? Maybe if we were to go to war with England again, we can break our alliance with them. We have no truce with England, but they are in a coalition against us. Yeah, we have a coalition. I forgot that. Oh, that was the main thing we we're going to have to deal with, isn't it? Hmm. Well, I guess we'll just kind of chill out here. Where's our army? Is this the max army we can have? We don't really have a lot of manpower, so I guess it kind of is for now. We can have 11 uh, more army force limits, so we could build some more. What were we working towards in our ideas? Uh, I think we're going for tech, yeah. So we've almost got a new idea group, so we can just kind of wait it out. Let's let time move on. Oh, fantastic. Cologne left the military uh, coalition against us. That's because I uh, reloaded the game because it's a new week, and uh, yeah, some things are happening. Lots of rivals uh, announced and removed. None of it that important to us right now. What have we got? Become defender of the faith, probably not very good. We could build things in provinces, not that good. We have cored everything, right? I think I remember coring everything last time it would be in here. And yeah, we've cored everything. We still have some Lorraine Separatists that are thinking about it in Lothrangia, but probably uh, not worth going. That's Lothringen. I think I said it wrong last time, and I've, in my head I was like, it's not how you think it is when you first read it, and I just corrected myself before it became a problem. So assault is no longer in a thing against us. So let's get rid of that. We no longer care about assault. Aachen is still in the still in the coalition, right? Yep. How about Lorraine? Lorraine we have max relations with, so they're going to stay in it. Uh, Platinum? We can get the Platinum out. Let's improve relations with them. See if we can get them out of this uh, thing. How much more do we have of Akin? We have um, 17 more. Okay. Lose the stability or lose ducats? Has to be losing ducats. Stability is so important. Salt crisis ended. That's, uh, I think, increases our production. If I remember right. Um, someone died. Not that important. One of the advisors we haven't hired died. And, uh, yeah, everything seems to be fine. Akin left. Switzerland left. So we can get rid of Akin. Uh, we never even started improving relations with Switzerland. How about Trier? Trier left, okay. England left. England annex Munster. We could go to war with England this very second. They're, they're allied with Savoy, Brittany, and the Papal State. Would Castile join us? Castile would join us for nothing. Because... They have not been promised territorial gains from this war. You need to spend favors to convince them to join. Or we can give them territorial gains and they'll be happy. Austria will not join. 
Brittany are on the enemy side. So we could go to war like this. This would allow us to attack Savoy and Brittany. And, hmm, need to think about what to do here. So we can do the trade superiority thing. That gives us 80% of the battles, gives us ticking war score. We probably won't be able to get the ticking war score. In fact, they'll probably get it. Actually, it'll probably end up even because we'll win all the land, land battles and they'll win all of the sea battles. Castile are into this, though. They have probably enough troops to win this by themselves. If we set it to territorial gains, we could give all of this stuff down there to Castile. Like, we can give all of that to Castile. That's going to mean that we're going to have a board, almost a border with Castile, though. Hmm. Now, we could keep Castile as a permanent ally, and that's definitely got its bonuses. I mean, for the achievement we're going for, what do we need? We need France underneath us. We need Austria underneath us, and we need to control this region up here. So what we can do is we can just let Castile run wild. They can be the big bad. They can be the really awful people who everybody uh, is trying to get on the good side of. But we've got in early. We're their only true friend. I and mean, they've got Portugal, but Portugal kept joining the wars with England. It looks like Castile are probably going to eat Portugal at some point. They don't need to worry about it. What we can do is we can use them to basically beat up France and beat up Austria and then we can just take the land that we need up here. We'll be happy with our small amount and that will get us what we're going for. Hmm. That seems fine as long as Castile doesn't turn from us. And they should have high trust. Yeah, they have some trust and they have a lot of favours. We could ask them to prepare for war. Um... Now that would give us, that was spent 10 favours. Do we have enough of Austria to do that? Not quite. If we had 10 favours, we could ask them to prepare for war and then they'd be more likely to join a war. Hmm. Okay. I'm up for the war with England. Let's go. Uh, declare war. Now, do we want to call in anyone as a co-belligerent? We can't call in Brittany as co-belligerent because they're our ally, I think, currently. That's why they can't do that. Papal state we have a truce with. Do we? No, we just can't call them in as co-belligerent. Maybe you can't call co-belligerents in, in a trade dispute war? What about Savoy? Are you, um... You're allied with England and Mantua, but we can't call you in for some reason. Okay. Let's go to war with England. Now, I would obviously like Kent. Kent would be, like, the holy grail of this. But I still don't think we're going to be able to cross the water. I don't think Castile is strong enough. But I think if we can take Brittany down. We ne we never bring back our alliance with Brittany. Then we can kind of eat them. They're also... France is pretty weak. So if we take some of Brittany that should be fine. Is some of this uh, the right culture for us? Because Frankian is accepted, right? Yeah. So what we could do is we could take some of the Franking culture here. And then hopefully that will... Uh, yeah, that will allow us to actually just keep the land. Do we have a... We don't have a claim. Hmm. We could cancel a person from the planet and get a claim on Brittany as we go to war for England. Then we take our claim. That seems sensible. So three days. One, two, three. Lorraine left, planet left. Good. Fabricate a claim on Alan Con. Then we will declare the war in England. We're gonna promise territorial gains because we'll want to have favours. Then we're gonna go to war. Yep. That seems fine. We don't have a lot of manpower, but that seems fine. Now, the question is Savoy or Brittany first? I'm gonna go for Savoy. F no, I'm gonna go for Brittany first. Because they're closer and uh, Castile might help. Mm. That's actually a very tough one. Because we could go for Savoy on the... Yeah, we'll head for Savoy. The reason why I'm going for Savoy is Savoy is a little bit weaker in their position. Like, they have less troops. And probably Castile are going to deal with Brittany anyway. And if we were to go for Brittany early, we're probably not going to get a claim before we want to peace out. So if we go for someone who we want to peace out with, it should be fine. Castile honoured our military alliance. Good. Good. If they didn't, that would be a problem. Everyone's leaving the coalition against us. You're no threat anymore. I'm not worried. Now here's the bit where nobody joins in. 
on England's side. Wait, I think everyone was, I think they were all saying they wouldn't join in on England's side when I was looking at it. That's why we couldn't call them in as co-belligerent. I think I'd, I have the I'm not very smart moment. Okay. Yeah, that's not, hmm. That's not, ter that's not terribly bl bright on my ha uh, my part. Flemish noble rebels, uh, they don't matter too much. I guess we're just going to war with England for Castile's land? Mm, okay, I didn't think this through very much. If Castile can beat uh, England's navy though, maybe we can get Kent. Yeah, okay, I accept it. This wasn't the best war. Maybe we'll just actually t treat it like a trade dispute war and actually uh, take trade things from it. Uh, leave enough to siege plus um, 1k. Maybe 2k. We'll send the rest to Anjou and you can uh, be merged up. Perfect. And we'll just kind of sit and siege it there. Um, hopefully we get a lot of war score from this. Are England actually dropping troops here? Oh, they are dropping troops. That's a first. I've never seen that happen before. As in, they usually just fail and never actually figure out how to drop troops over. Okay, do you have enough navy to fight England yet? It's an important question that needs to be answered. Uh, we will, of course, take... Uh, actually, we're a little bit ahead on time. We'll wait on the military tech. We should maybe build some military tech buildings, some army buildings, possibly. Just increase our local manpower in some places. Oh, we could spend points to improve uh, development. Um, so, did I ever think about where we're going to... How about we just do it in places that have low development? So, you have reasonably low development. We'll just raise it a couple times. There we go. That works. It's not that important. England's army's actually getting beaten. We do have the war score from battles, but we don't have the attacker won enough battles yet. Okay. How's the navy's doing? Oh, that's not good. Aragon, why didn't you move your... Oh, because you were... There's, there's actually a transport fleet. I see. I was like, why didn't they move their entire army in? This is such a good opportunity for you and its transport fleet. Okay. Austria, your faithful allies, requesting that you come to their aid in the Ottoman conquest of Sayo versus the Ottomans in Tunis. Sure, we'll come. Brabant, Flanders and Holland joined in. We're now at war with the Ottomans. The Ottomans will never actually come and deal with us because they'll be dealing with Austria. They'll, like, it's not our problem, basically. But we should get some favors just for joining, I think. I mean, there might be an incentive to go down there and help, but I'm actually quite happy to let Austria just die in the burn. Ottoman conquest of Sayo. What is Sayo? is in Genoa. Oh, so it must be up here. One of those? No, none of those are Sayo. Is this Sayo? Oh, that's... Or uh, Chow? Is that how you'd say it? I don't know. It's not very uh, obvious. Okay, I didn't know that Genoa had those lands. Oh well. War's pretty much lost now already. Yeah, the Ottomans will get the taken war score. Don't really understand that war very much. Maybe Austria will beat them. That's the that's the worrying thing. If Austria beat them and get stronger, then we're in trouble. But I don't think they're going to do that. We have gained a claim on Brittany, which is actually quite funny now, given that Brittany are still our ally. Um. Okay. What do we want to do? Probably just want to. I don't know. Um. Prove relations with someone. Someone's still in the coalition. Liège. Okay. Prove relations with them. Hmm. Interesting. And uh, England once again got troops over to the uh, mainland. We lost the siege of Poitou. Well, we won the siege of Poitou, sorry. We could peace out of England right now. I think that's sensible given that this was kind of a misfired war. Let's just get war reparations? Castile would not be happy because we're not giving them land. Okay. Do you want Ar- can we take Armagnac? Come on, I, I need something for Castile. Anything. If we peace out for nothing, Castile is average. Okay. Um, well, we'll merge up and see if we can get a little bit of war score here. 35%. It went down. Okay. Interesting. Uh, where are our vassals? 
No, 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 vassals. Nope. Nope. Um, we can't set our military focus for them. Like, don't go to the Ottoman lands. That's terrible idea focus. 2-1. He's got 2-1 as well. Uh, we could just go sit next to him in these um, woods here, maybe? In Breda? We head up to Breda, I think we'll be fine. I don't know. This uh, this doesn't seem like it's the best. I did unmothball those ships, but I'm not entirely sure why. Right now. Like, I'm not going to join this battle. Castile almost got men on England. That's uh, that's uh, funny. Uh, oh, good. We got 50 Diplo points. Right. Let's see where we're going to go now. Um, I'm kind of fine just sitting here and facing them. They do have cannons, which actually means that they're significantly stronger than us. So I'm just going to sit in the woods and hope that they come over. Oh, they only have medium enthusiasm. Perfect. We can peace out for something. Armagnac? Perfect. Or, wait. Do we want one that... Do we want to try to do that to them to try and stop uh, France getting over? Or do we want to take away some, bo some of the... We can't take away the border. So we could do that. Try and stop France from having a large border with England. Try and force France into the HRE. See what happens there. That seems fine. Castile would be happy and we'll take some money so that we're up to the amount that we can... Like, we'll get something. Okay, that's fine. It's kind of a misfire of a war, but it worked out. Alright. We got we made Castile stronger. Not the best war we could have done. What's our truce? Truce is 1494. Okay. That does potentially mean we could go to war with somebody who England had allied, but England lost all their allies because they all said no. Hmm. There might still be an opportunity. Also, England's troops are now stuck, black flagged over here, and they'll never find out, figure out a way back. Burgoy's estate modifier, their influence is now lowered. It's now 15%. Burgoy's 15% influence. That's pretty good. It's very low. We could maybe give them some more. Like, if we... Wait, is that their, that's their influence, their loyalty? We could give them... We could ask for a contribution, taking 10 loyalty away, give, giving us money, and then we could lose 5 prestige to give them 15 loyalty and a little bit of influence. Hasn't seemed great. Um, oh, but if we did that... Okay, we, we can chain this. So, what we do is we give them 15 loyalty, we then take the diplomatic support. That then lowers their loyalty. So we'll do this. We'll then take the diplomatic support. We will then ask for a contribution. All of this does not lower... Oh, it's below 40. In which case we won't. We'll just keep it. We'll keep it where it is. That's fine. We could ask for a contribution as well, but we don't need the money, so we won't ruin that just now. Clergy, we could send an emissary to the Pope. Not that useful. Seek the support of the clergy, no. Make a generous donation, no. Gain 100 admin points. Uh, we can make a generous donation, then gain the admin points, and those should cancel each other. Uh, oh, it would still put us slightly below 60. I do want the admin points, though. Mm, what does that give us? National tax saves stability and papal influence. I'll take it. We'll take the 100 admin points. And you, we could do something where we get more military points, but there's no point doing that right now because we'll be ahead of time. And it would put them below the military recovery speed there. Okay, so we just kind of leave that where it is. Invest in new technology, still not going to do that. Okay, let's wait. See how things go. Clergy is losing, losing power. Clergy estate loses 10 influence. Where's that? 10 influence. Okay. So they're down at 51%. That's fine. It's alright. Oh, we should have our forts turned off. Yes. Uh, no forts. Army maintenance goes really low. I mean, I know we're at war, but we're kind of not really at war. We're also going to move our army to somewhere in the middle of our country. Just to avoid the Ottomans actually attacking us. Like, say if they got boats around there, we really just don't want to deal with that. 
Or at least not deal with that without a raised army. Um, you're very close to getting a new idea group. If we can hold off and get this military tech, we can take a military idea group. Kind of head a little bit ahead here. That should be fine. How much more do we need? Can't be that much more. 520? That's not too bad. Liege left the military coalition. We now no longer have a military coalition. Brittany's probably not happy because we have a claim. Well, no, they don't care. They don't care that we just fabricated a claim on them. Okay. Um, Austria and Castile. Austria still quite like us. We should maybe improve relations with Bohemia, but um, instead I'm going to improve relations with our subjects. Let's improve relations with Brabant, Flanders, and Holland. So which one first? Probably Flanders. Also, when can we integrate? We can integrate them in six years. So yeah, we'll improve relations with the, with Flanders first, and with Brabant second. No diplomats sent. One, two. Oh, auto save kind of got us there. One, two. There we are. Once we get them to 190, then in six years we can just integrate them. And hopefully that means that we don't like we can we'll have more diplo points to spend. Everything will be looking much much brighter there. We can just kind of move on with our lives without having all of these vassals. Okay. We lose some ducats. We get a cardinal. Uh, five fifty percent chance that France gets a diplomatic insult and that they hate us. Done. That's easy enough. We got a new cardinal. We have five active cardinals. We probably have the most, don't we? By a large margin, but we have nothing invested in the next Pope. We could just invest and win this. I don't really care though, what do you get? You get Diplomat, that's useful. Yearly Prestige, uh, which is all right. The advisors are very nice. Uh, tech cost is really nice. That's actually really, really, the aggressive expansion impact is lovely. Mm, I could just spend it all. What do we get? You get uh, 10 per five spent. We have 47, so we could get we could be up to 50 invested. We would be exactly the same as the Papal State invested, which means that we would have a t over 25% chance because it's split evenly. Um, as they would have slightly less than 20% 5% chance. It just doesn't seem like enough to like warrant. Like, if we get to 50, we can get some one of those uh, pretty good bonuses for 50. That seems fine. I'm going to let the game speed up just a tiny bit, so we're not really doing very much. 100% um, going to do something about the plague, just going to spend money on it. Hopefully it will go away. Then we're going to get to fi 502. England are allied with Venice, okay. Probably means Venice are the next people who are going to die. 511. 520, perfect. We will invest in our administrative technology, gets us a new idea group. We can now start doing the uh, administrative idea group again, that seems absolutely fine. And we will take a military idea. Now which one are we going to take? Probably going to take one. I was thinking quantity before, but I don't really like it that much. It's alright, it gives you a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff is a little bit cheaper. Quality is actually really good. It allows you to... Um, it allows you to have less troops, but make them all more effective. We could go some like naval ideas, and then just really, really build up our naval fleet. Just truly try and be controllers of the water, and then beat England that way. Just put all of our points into naval. All that we did. It also gives you galley combat ability, which is a little bit weaker. If we were going for naval, we'd probably want to go nat maritime or trade. His trade also gives you naval stuff because there's naval force limit based on controlling a trade node, I think. We could go quality and still try and do na naval stuff, but it, they're just not as good. Defensive is alright. It's definitely alright. That's It's very solid. It's not amazing, but it's solid. The morale of armies is actually really nice. Offensive... Um, it's it's fine. Like, I love it's fine. We could get aristocratic, though. What does we get? Cavalry cost goes down. That's fine. Uh, that doesn't matter at all. The income from vassals would be nice if we ever got any. National manpower modifier goes up. Decay, diplomats, cost... Hmm, that's a little bit weak, actually. I thought that was better than it was. I might have been thinking of administrative. Or something like that. I might even have been thinking of the one that we took in administrative ideas. Um... I don't know. 
probably gonna go for... Oh, it's quality or quantity? That's the uh, question. In fact, you know what? I'm gonna leave it till next time I'm gonna think about it. Thank you for watching. See you then.